Hello, and if you're like me, maybe you have Fabric and you've tried to get Optifine to work. But no matter what you do, you download all the mods and you download all the Opti Fabric stuff and the API and it doesn't work. Well, luckily for you, there's an alternative. With Sodium and Lithium, we can do the same thing as Optifine with the same performance. So here, follow along and you'll get amazing performance for yourself too, just like Optifine with other mods. First, go to fabric.net, the first link in the description, and click the giant download button. Then open the file in your downloads or on your browser. Now that you've opened the fabric file, go to the Minecraft version and select what version. Make sure it's the correct version that you're using with the mods. Otherwise, the mods will not work. Make sure you're selecting client as well because this is a client that we are installing, not a server. Then once you have the correct version you want, click install. After you have clicked install, you'll be greeted by a window that wants you to OK stuff. If it looks different, it might want you to close your Minecraft or you have other errors that you need to troubleshoot by reading the error message and googling stuff online or going down into the comments and asking for help so go to the second link in the description and go to lithium this will be the first mod that we install make sure your supports is the right version of the minecraft that you are using with the launcher that way it works otherwise it will not open your launcher so just click download on that then go to the third link for sodium same thing make sure you're using the right supported version of your launcher and click download. Once you have downloaded both of the mods, you can just click here and go show in folder. That way it takes you to your downloads folder. You can do this manually or what on whatever browser you are using. This will work for Mac too. It'll be a little different. Now that you've downloaded both lithium and sodium, make sure you go to both of those mods. Make sure you select both of the mods or all the mods that you are trying to use. Right click them like so and click copy. We want to copy them. Now that you have copied both your mods or the mods that you want to put in your mods folder, make sure you go to the file directory right here and type in percent app data percent. This will lead you into your Minecraft files. So that you can put on um, the mods in the mod folder. And this will work for any mod, so it doesn't matter. It's pretty universal cookie cutter. So if you aren't using sodium or lithium and you wanna know how to install mods, this is pretty simple. So go to dot Minecraft, then go to mods folder. If you don't have a mods folder, you can just create one. I already have one. Uh, so then you just wanna go here and then paste your mods in. If you have any mods that are conflicting or any mods that are causing problems, just put them in the unused mods. That way you can use them, other versions of mods and stuff like that. Just a quick, nice, easy tip that I've learned over the course of the time. That way you don't have to delete them or move them. Well, you do need to move them. All right, after all your mods are pasted in, you can go to your launcher and start your launcher. All right, now you can go to your launcher and click play. Make sure you're using the correct version of Fabric. That way you don't have any glitches. All right, if you followed everything, everything should have started and everything should have worked. Hopefully this tutorial helped you. Like I said, if you have Fabric and Optifine and OptiFabric for some reason don't work for you, like me, and you've tried everything, then this is a great alternative to get great performance so you can play with your friends on any system. This even in some cases gives better performance than Optifine. So if you want a shaders tutorial, let me know in the comments below because I might make another tutorial. Also, if you need a voice chat for 1.20, we have a tutorial for that as well. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure to support. And if this tutorial helped you, let us know in the comments by liking and sending a comment to let us know how much it helped you. If you need help, Help, I'll try and help you as well, but no promises as I don't know your system and all that stuff. Thank you guys for watching and have a good day. Have fun playing with your friends with great performance.